All right, let's talk about Sony S-Log3, the importance of it and how to master it in order to make your Sony footage look incredible. First of all, what is Sony S-Log3? Sony S-Log3 is Sony's own gamma curved designed to maximize dynamic range, capturing up to 16 stops of dynamic range depending on the cinema line model, preserving more detail in shadows and highlights compared to the standard Rec 709 profile. Because it's designed for post-production flexibility, as log tree footage appears flat and desaturated straight out of the camera, requiring proper color grading and contrast adjustments in post-production. It works best when recorded in 10-bit 422 or higher to retain enough color information for detail adjustments without bending or artifacts. And if this sounds super science fiction for you guys, Sony S-Log3 is basically a color profile that makes your image have the most information possible so you can later on manipulate it in post-production so you can get the best results possible for your creative vision. This color profile also unlocks the true power of your camera, making it possible to record in very hard environments where high dynamic range is required. Now, why would you want to record in S-Log3, you might ask? Well, it's because it allows you to create your own visual style. And to get the best results possible with S-Log3, here are some tips to achieve the best results because every log file has a limit. On the S-Log3, the limit is underexposing and a lot of people do it simply because they just use the S-Log3 footage without any assistance. What I mean by that is, whenever you film in S-Log3, you need a conversion lot to show your images in a non-logarithmic format so you can judge your image much better. But the problem is that most conversion lots are way too hard on the image and making you overexpose one or two stops to the right. And you tend to want to underexpose because your LUT makes your highlights way too bright. If you do this, you might save your highlights, but you lose a lot of shadow details and here is where noise comes in. The trick that I've done in order to make sure I always expose my Sony s 3 images correctly is a lot specially designed by me to make sure you're overexposing one or two stops the image rather than underexposing. By doing this, you're making sure you're getting the cleanest Sony s 3 images possible, yet retaining details and quality. Now, over the years has been a lot of misconception regarding Sony S-Log3 and a lot of people said that it's hard to color grade. When in fact, Sony S-Log3 is super easy to color grade if you use the right LUTs. And talking about the LUTs, down below there is a link with a lot of useful LUTs for a ton of talented Sony creators, including my own LUTs as well. The LUTs I've designed for Sony S-Log3 make your images look amazing with a simple click. And to maximize this, you can import them into your camera and you can use them to judge exposure. So the LUT looks perfect once you apply them in post, so you don't have to change much whenever you're color grading. Also, to show you how powerful Sony S-Log3 is, I made a quick experiment where I intentionally messed up my white balance and as you can see, the image looks super blue. But because Sony S-Log3 has 10 bit, I can change the white balance in post-production without messing up my image, just like I would do with a raw footage. For most people, if they work in controlled environments and for fast delivery, they might get better results if they just use the Sony Cinetone Color Profile. A color profile that is designed to make your footage look cinematic straight out of the camera. This color profile is also easier to use and harder to screw up. I'm going to go more in depth about Sony S-Log3 on my next videos, so make sure to check them as well. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I managed to clear up a few things about Sony S-Log3. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments, I will respond to each of them. And until next time, I'm Alexander Don and thanks a lot for watching, stay creative and have a lot of fun shooting. Peace.